How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Lies of P. So we're continuing deeper into the Vanini workshop. In the last episode, we progressed part of the way through the workshop and opened up a shortcut. So if you need to see the episode where we began this area, that would be the previous episode. So going back through the hallway here with the fiery ball made out of puppets, we're going to continue on, get another shortcut, fight a little mini boss or an elite enemy. And we have, a, we have a decent chunk left here. We are going to be obviously progressing towards the boss, but I don't think we're going to make it to him this episode I talk about these NPCs Pleased to see here. you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. <laughs> All we could do was laugh. Keep your whispers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow. Best of luck. Best of luck to you, my friend. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Vanini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, bet you can get four. No, 5,000 for it at the shop. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for 500. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. You'll wish you had. So you can buy this. Um... I have actually not tested what happens if you don't buy it. So it's just a landmark guide that is so, have you pretty had much time a to fake. Read it? It's the first volume I wrote, so go easy. <laughs> By the way, I need to mention something before it slips my mind. It's a shame that the original author went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. No refunds, of course. <laughs> That's a given. But look on the bright side. That volume of this series is not easy to acquire. <laughs> Take care you don't get torched. <laughs> Take okay. So there's not an achievement for collecting all the pieces of lore notes or anything like that all the piece all the notes all the documents pictures whatever in the game so i don't think it's necessary to to pick that up but just in case might as well so we want to take out these guys and then around the corner we're going to get a shortcut and be able to open the trinity door for which we got the key from the king of riddles okay so this is the shortcut that i pointed out that goes back to double shield man that we fought again not a uh, not a very handy shortcut but shortcut nonetheless so these are what the Trinity doors look like. That little symbol on there. Let's keep an eye out for them. As we progress through the game, obviously, we're going to be pointing them out in the walkthrough here. So don't you worry about missing them. Okay. 
So we get a quartz and the blue blood's tailcoat, which is a pretty nice outfit. Probably slap that on here. Yeah, there we go. To get the fashion souls right in this game. Okay, so now down this pipe are going to be those little crawly guys. So this guy hops up from down below. Then see the other ones. They're crawling on the ceiling and they're going to try and jump on your head. So back up. Don't let that happen. Now these, these guys also do a little flurry of attacks and then they'll like fall over. That's really the best time to beat on them. Because they do, for little crawly things, they do actually hurt quite a bit. More than they should. Smack this guy before he even gets up. And backstab this guy. Okay. We're gonna grab this piece of loot. Now, when we go down this hallway, big guy's gonna jump out. Um, basically, you want to run over there and get that shortcut as quick as you can. Um, these saw blades are pretty nice, FYI. Um, so yeah, run over here, grab this real quick, and hope you don't get hit like I did. And again. <laughs> I have escaped him before not hitting me, so it is possible. Fighting him in this hallway is a lot better than down the tube there, so I would recommend fighting him here. You do have to watch out for those uh, vertical uh, hits with the uh, hits with the shovel, because as you saw, he can hit you multiple times if he does hit you. If you're on the ground, and that can be pretty devastating. Like he can pretty much clear a good chunk of your health bar when doing that. Okay, so this amulet that he just gave us reduces weapon durability. The other thing with those guys, they have a red attack that they do that that vertical downward slam as well. Uh, as long as you time it right, you are able to dodge out of the way of that. That's a an example of a red attack that I was talking about that you can uh, kind of dodge out of the way based on the movement. Now that lever that we just pulled drains all the corruption out of this little area. So we are able to go down there and fight the puppet of the future. Much, much, much more of a uh, easier encounter once you drain the corruption out of there. I like uh, most other people kind of chose to fight him in the corruption without realizing that you could drain that uh, prior to that. So, their initial playthrough. So we got another note here, Doctor's Confessions. Very interesting stuff. Just you guys read it. Pause the video if you need to. And we got another little note here. Seen this eccentric. Did you guys read that as well? Okay. Now we're going to get a shortcut that brings down that pipe that we saw. Or actually, we didn't see that because we didn't go over that direction. But this uh, basically connects this side of the the factory by pulling this down connects this side of the factory to the beginning area 
and I'll show you how in a second. Oh, fantastic! The pipe fit like a glove. Well, like a pipe <laughs> that fit idioms, you know. Okay. So over there are those um, those puppets and that big guy that we saw early on, right at the beginning of the factory. Uh, so first, before we go fight the Puppet of the Future, we are going to go down here and have another little little encounter with a mini-boss. Uh, all puppets must die. Oh, it's the only way to be sure. All puppets must die. Every single one. Wait. Those clothes. Huh? Leo? You came back? I, I, I killed countless puppets to atone for what I did. I didn't mean to break my vow. I was just so scared. I'm sorry I ran away. Oh, if you're a ghost, just leave me be. It's the weight of guilt. The burden never gets lighter. All oh, puppets must die. Kill the puppets! Okay, so obviously, if you're wearing different clothes, there's going to be some different dialogue there. I wish I'd known. Oh, this guy has a lot of fast swings. He has the, the puppet saber. Um, but he it does, le as you've seen, he does leave himself open to backstabs pretty well, like any humanoid opponent, opponent in the game. He is pretty quick, so it does take a minute to... Get the guard, perfect guards down, and get into proper position to do the backstabs. As you see, he just hit me with like every single one of those hits from that combo. There we go, backstab. Dodge the charge attack. I wish I'd known. Oh, the hell of but just keep circling around and try and get perfect guards if you can on those swings. Don't get stuck in the uh, the corners because that can't happen. Surviving the hell of a game. He's not letting the backstab happen again. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was afraid to die. Okay. So he gave us his clothes, as well as a mask. That's what it looks like. <laughs> kind of silly. His uh, his clothes are kind of nice looking. Okay, so we have one quartz and a legion caliber here. Um, you'll be saving those. Okay, so as you can see, the store is open now. Pointed that out in the last episode. So, let's see. Now we're going to go fight the puppet of the future. I do only have one heal, but should be okay. I'm going to wait. For him to go by. He's gonna turn around. Okay. Oh, he's starting off with the. Starting off with the uh, swirl of his hands. Okay, so this guy does a lot of stomps. 
see. Oh god. <laughs> okay, puppet of the future, take two. Um, so like I said, this guy has like a couple uh, slams with his feet. He has that single leg stomp like right here. And you gotta watch that foot when he moves it back, because as you can see, it hit you. Oh god. When he does hit you, it causes electric shock. You do have to watch out. Okay. So just beating on his ankle, just beat on his ankles. Um, Dad, he's raising up on his arms, so just watch out for that. He does have a double foot slam, like right there. He's doing his moves right on cue. Okay, nice charge attack there. Right down. Now that swirl attack he started off with last time, just swinging his arms around. Uh, it is pretty easy to avoid. Just stay in the middle. You can see that just him lifting up his foot and putting it back hurt me. So you gotta watch out for that. Yep, and it hit me again. So yeah, just stay in the middle if he starts doing uh, swirling. His arms about the safest place you can be, and that's really a good opportunity to just absolutely beat on him, like right now. We will encounter these guys later on as well. Uh, in another area, but they will be, uh, they'll have a different, they'll actually have a, a different move set and essentially be a little more aggressive, so just gotta watch out. So it's good to just kind of learn how they move right now. There we go. Okay. So we get a quartz from him and a radiant ergo chunk. Uh, he was also guarding this chest. This is the Booster Glaive. Very, very nice. Uh, great sword for a technique build. Put it on to show you guys here. B scaling and technique. Storm Slash for the Fable Art on the Blade. And then Patient Slash. So you can hold the attack button to trigger a stronger attack with patient slash. Now you should pay attention to the uh, the fable arts and the directions in which they're uh, they're telling you how to use it because a lot of times there are uh, special like inputs like that to hold the attack button or do um, multiple inputs or whatever um, to uh, to get the different fable arts out and different different actions out of them. That's the move set for the Fire Axe, too. Now, the Fire Axe has Endure on it, uh, which is a, is a good Fable Art, which you can withstand. If you use that, you can withstand, like, Red Attack. So if you're having problems with, like, an enemy with uh, a certain Red Attack, you can use a weapon that might have Endure on it or change something up and use a handle that has endure and you can just uh just tank a hit on that red attack the fire dagger just showed off there too pretty nice as the ignite feature which increases fire attack okay let's take care of these guys here Does not use that red attack very right often. Nah, these little guys getting involved in the fight is uh, not helping matters right now. The 
little guys are more of a nuisance than anything. Try and line both of these guys up here. There we go. Okay, so around the corner here is the first Stargazer. So you guys kind of see how the level's all connected here. Okay, so now we're going back across here. Right up there is Benini. There's a stargazer up there as well. Let's take care of this guy. There's some items on the scaffolding here too but let's get this uh, stargazer and talk to Benini first that's rather disloyal oh easy now no need hold on Geppetto's a friend of yours did he send you I, I'm I, I'm fine please help me find my butler Pulcinella he's a puppet and a friend those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but, uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. Mm. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... Or my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Okay. Before so we all the this fear uh, gesture. This chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets. And marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please, you must stop him before he does any more harm. Before all this, I'm how did. Okay, Let's activate the stargazer. Okay, so we got a bit of time, so let's clean up this room over here. As you can see, we do have another uh, shovel man down there. Now, just watch out because you keep moving on the scat folding because you, uh, there are puppets down below throwing thermite, so if you're not paying attention to how you're walking on the scaffolding, they're going to end up hitting you with that. Okay, so we have a technique and a motivity crank now. For those interested. Okay, another note here for you. Oh, see what I mean about keep moving? And of course I missed that jump. Got 
There's no way I'm getting back now. You are jackass. This other guy hit me from behind too. Another guy over here. He couldn't hit the broad side of a barn though. Don't worry about him. back up here and grab the loot and kill the couple guys I was going to up here before I missed my jump. There we go. Let's little jump. The other side. Grab that. A lot of guys up on this uh, little platform here. A lot of guys for a little skinny platform, but oh well. Okay, maybe we can ascend to attack this guy. Yes, we can. Watch out for that red attack. Either back up like I did or try and dodge out of the way. Okay, watch out for that. Now you do want to kill him because he gives you a converter and that converter is going to help you out with the boss because the fire resist on it is pretty good. Um, up 52 to 103 for the fire resist which is going to help out tremendously with this boss. Okay so from here. We're gonna go back and do some leveling up. And get prepared for the upcoming fight. Which Fuoko is uh, it's a pretty cool boss. Basically, looks like a big furnace. Oh, that's so funny. Wondering where she went. You're going to the fact he's the richest man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I know my way around a weapon. Mr. Benini is the richest man in Krat. His company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's uh, peculiar, but a good-hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Okay, same. A that stargazer is a survival device. I know my way around. Okay, so we are going to upgrade our coil to plus three we don't have any crescent moonstones moon yet which is the second upgrade material uh, we might as well upgrade the salamander dagger because the area after this we're going to need that the enemies there do not like fire A 
I'll use my power. Okay, so let's do some leveling up. Okay, so we can get our stamina almost up to 20. And I'm thinking... Thinking that I can pop a few things at Ergo to get another level here. So we'll do that. That. And that. And we can either get the stamina to 20, think, yeah, let's get that to 20. I was going to do another advance just for the, the, the fire defense, but it's negligible, so we can just get our stamina to 20 and we can start focusing on our capacity. We are going to start getting some heavier defensive parts as time goes on here. So that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I did want to fit the boss in here, but um, time is not going to permit that. So we will just start off next episode with that. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you.